The mid journey free trial is no longer available but this doesn't mean that you should stop creating awesome AI art and in this video I'll show you how I generated this image, this image and this image all for free and using a tool called Blue Willow. So hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here my name is Paris and I love to share practical digital marketing tools and tips so consider subscribing if you're into that kind of thing. In this video I want to show you how I generated free AI art using a tool called Blue Willow. So to access it you go to bluewillow.ai then you can join the beta and it works more or less like the way mid journey works so if you're familiar with using mid journey then this is going to be really easy for you if you're not then what you do is that you come to this icon here that's the blue willow ai and then you have this getting started guide here you can go to the faq so what you need to know is that they're using multiple models in here depending on what it is that the user wants one of these models includes stable diffusion so if you scroll down here you can see how to create your first image you can see what is blue willow and then you can also see how to improve the image down here you can see that you can also download the image and then it also tells you that you can use the images commercially which is really awesome there's also some guidelines here and also some rules but i want to show you how you can be able to generate your images so to start creating your ai art you need to go to the rookie channels if you can't see them here then you can always go to where it says channels and roles here click on that and then you're going to click on browse channels which is a new feature here and then you can see the rookie channels here so just select the ones you want maybe we can select two or three so that we have options so we can see that we have the rookie channels here so we can select number 72 here you can see that we have some inspirational images here these are just people creating some images so to write the prompt you can either write the prompt directly or you can go to other ai art generators and then you can try and get some inspirational prompts from there so we can go to something like lexica lexica is another ai art generator so we are going to scroll down to see an image that we like and then we are going to borrow from that prompt we can either go through the image as they are here yeah some of them look really nice they've been generated using lexica for lexica you have to pay to use that but we just want the prompt you can also search here for a keyword and then you'll have images for that keyword we can search something like a dog okay so we can look for a prompt to generate an image of a dog let's see if we have some nice dog pictures here so this one looks really nice i think we can borrow the prompt for that so you just click on it and then you click on copy prompt and we'll go back to blue willow and then we are going to type out our prompt you type out forward slash imagine and then a space just like you would in mid journey you can also click on that and then we are going to paste our prompt here so the thing about blue willow is that it is really easy to use even with a prompt you can go to these resources here click on the prompt faq just to get the hang of it so you can see that we have the basic commands here so if you click on that you'll see that we have a negative command which is dash dash no we also have aspect ratios command both for horizontal and vertical so that is what we are going to be using so we copy that and then we are going to go back to where we're generating our image yeah so we are going to add this to our prompt okay and then we are going to hit enter so that our prompt can be generated yeah so let's see how long it takes to generate this it's already here it didn't take too long let's click on that well it's it's not too bad you know yeah it doesn't look realistic it's almost like illustrations but i think we can work with the second one here so if we wanted to we just click out of that we're going to upscale the second one so let's see if we can find it and the thing about this is that you have to keep scrolling past other people's images to get yours but if you're not able to find it you can always come to this search bar here and then you're going to click on mention full colon then you type out your name yeah so that we can get where our image went so click on that and then we're going to look for our image. So you can click on this jump so that we're taken to the image. You want to upscale the second one. So click on U2 to upscale it. Yeah, so this is the dog. It's a German Shepherd. Let's see it up close. It's, it's not too shabby. It looks um, a little shorter. You know, but I mean, we, we could work with this. If you wanted to, you can create variations of the same. We'd just go to this one here and then we'll ask it to create variations of this. Let's upscale number four. Let's see how that goes. So I think it's already done it. So here is the German Shepherd. Well, this looks much better and the image is really high quality. If you wanted to save it, you just right click it and then you can save us. So if we compare this image that we have gotten against this image that we use to get the prompt, 
you can see that this one is really high quality yeah and it looks more realistic this one also had other images in here but you can see that we did get a uh, quite a high quality image from that prompt so we can try another prompt using a human character to see how that compares let me go back to lexica here and search for a human character maybe we can ask for a lady let me see if we can get that okay so we have quite a few pictures here let's see which one we can use for this one i think we can go with this one so the prompt is really simple it's a russian woman with a slight smile let's see if we can make that work so just copy that prompt and then we're going to go back here and then we are going to type out the prompt forward slash imagine and then we are going to paste our prompt here we can also add in an aspect ratio we can say hyper detailed so I think the most annoying part of this is having to go through these images searching for yours. But at least we have this part here, you know, where we can use to search for our images. This is this is not bad. It's actually really impressive. So let's see whether we can jump to that. Okay, click on jump here. So we can upscale number two. So here's the upscaled version of number two. And if I zoom further in, you can see that it is really high quality and it looks real. Yeah, you wouldn't tell that this is AI generated. You would actually think it's a picture of somebody. So we can save this one. Next, I want us to see how Blue Willow compares if you're generating something like a fictional character. We'll go back to Lexica. For this one, we're going to use the keyword cyberpunk. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have some characters here. This one looks really nice. So this one says the cyberpunk punker with motorcycle helmet. So copy this prompt and then we're going to go back to Blue Willow. So we'll put in our prompt here. Okay, so here our results. They look more or less um, like cartoon characters, yeah, but the details are quite intricate. So let's see if we can upscale either of these or we could change the prompt a little. Let's see if we can change the prompt a little bit. Um, in our prompt, it says in the style of, so we're going to remove that style of. So um, yeah, it says in the style of that series. So we're going to remove this one and the rim light. We're going to remove those two. Okay. Let's see what else we can remove from this cyberpunk. We are also going to remove ink illustration. We are going to ask it to make it hyper-realistic. And then we are going to add in our aspect ratio. Let's see how this compares to our previous result. Okay, so we, here we have the image. And I think this second one looks really nice. So we can upscale number two. Should be down here somewhere. So this is our image here. On up close, it doesn't look like it's really um, high quality, but I think we could get to play around with that. But I hope you're starting to see the power of this. I know Mid Journey is in a class of its own. Let me know in the comments down below whether you've gotten an opportunity to use Blue Willow and what you thought about it. In the meantime, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.